circular peep into the Himalayan gallery of Yokoste Museum of Science with this ordinary mobile phone camera may not satisfy me ever but I feel having come here still pictures are good in detail but these don't capture the mood of the gallery the mood of the gallery all generations all literacy levels little ones looking at the glacier models the rivers the bata the wildlife the snow leopard the snow leopard and all the animals of Uttarakhand it gives a different feel only in a video so I try this this as well as everything else which I could try but much of it it is captured in my mind in my heart and surely I'm going to use this video as well as the stills for my YouTube as well as talks talks to society at large trying to take Himalayas to the society the passes and the bridges as I said the Himalayan passes are higher than the highest peaks of Europe. So the thrill and adventure in the Himalayas is unique. Nobody can duplicate it. Nobody can beat it anywhere. Anywhere. The passes and the bridges thrill, scare across such bridges over many rivers of the Lahul Valley I've seen this incredible Himalayas myself over so many years I've traveled in the Himalayas as a geologist today I thank you today I came not as a geologist but almost as a tourist to this incredible Himalayas. Came to Yukost as the guest, expert, and uh, once having done that, attending the morning session, I literally became a tourist uh, in this expo. This is a great expo, a real great uh, place to come and uh, have a feel of the Mosaic of lofty mountains, vibrant landscapes, plentiful resources for people while scaring wildlife space and securing the ecological and cultural treasures of the Himalayas. Marvelous, the original inhabitants of the Himalayas. I've seen them from very close. And um, I've worked with them, camped them, camped with them from '77 onwards, and uh, heard from them. But not such a comprehensive picture. I don't have in my mind such a comprehensive picture of the original inhabitants of the Himalayas. Presented the key to past. You got a feel of what it was before seeing what what it is at present. The social tradition, the dra the dresses, the dances, the gompas. All we had a feel of it in Lahul Spiti. We had a feel of it everywhere. But the sustainable, resilient mountain development for improved and equitable livelihoods through knowledge 
and regional cooperation. That's, that's, a, that's the ultimate aim of all these uh, exhibits so that anybody in one glance gets to have a feel of how Himalayan culture, how Himalayan people, how Himalayan music, how Himalayan folklore, how Himalayan ornaments, etc., etc. are. And when we talk of Himalayas, obviously we cannot miss out the roof of the world, the Everest, and uh, this famous saga of Edmund Hillary and Norgay, and uh, the stories of all the expeditions to Everest before the Indian expedition, successful expedition at last in 65, and number of, number of expeditions, and uh, young girls who are known to have climbed the Mount Everest number of times, number of times doing it, number of times creating mountains out of sand. That's a good idea, shaping the landform. No, their surface changes. A great, very, very thoughtful Himalayan gallery. A very, very, very expert creation of the Himalayan gallery. Himalayas is considered the most diverse cultural complex. I'm uh, really touched looking at all, all the Himalayan uh, views, all the Himalayan viewpoints. Himalaya is one such nature's gift to mankind. It is a symbol of nature's beauty in true sense. In true sense, adventure sports in Himalayas have a huge, huge potential. I'm sure once it takes up for that, we'll have to start conserving the Himalayan ecology. Stop fiddling with the safety considerations of the people in the Himalayas or else uh, it will create uh, needless fear among the uh, tourists coming here who come here for adventure, who don't like to travel on roads. They go with their tents and piggyback into the interiors. We as geologists camping in the Himalayan interiors have often seen tourists who love to be in the interior and they don't care for the road structure. They don't care for the road network. So in the name of no road network, to ruin the ecology of the Himalayas is not a very wise thing. It's better late than never that we start looking at Himalayas, Christian beauty, and start conserving what it was. Once again, a quick glance through what Amarnath Gufa, I missed it, Amarnath Kale inside the 40 meter high Amanath cave, the stalagmite is formed due to freezing of water drops that fall from roof of the cave onto the floor and grows up vertically from the cave floor. It is considered to be a shivalinga by Hindu. The cave waxes during May to August as snow melts in the Himalayas above. So that's the shivaling uh, model. Uh, that's how the Amanath cave it's so famous among the religious tourists. And uh, once again, a glimpse of the sacred Himalayas and uh, all the temples and tourist uh, uh, pilgrimage spots of the Himalayas. Since time immemorial, the mighty Himalayas have been revered as the abode of divinity. Hundreds of shrines dot the Himalayan foothills and lofty ice-clad peaks most of the shrines are very closely associated with the epics that form the backbone of Indian culture and ethos. The Uttarakhand Avoda Gods Jammu and Kashmir Shimla West Bengal Nepal Tibet Bhutan, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, and name what you may. Vulnerable Himalayas, 
the earthquakes earthquakes which happened in the Himalayas possibly that's the Nepal which is in the pictures yeah it looks like and uh, the floods in the Himalayas we have the Uttarkashi very fresh in the minds of people trouble in store all over all over scientific management of the disasters we are capable of doing and we must do it scientific management of the disasters taking climate change in our stride living in a futuristic manner not polluting not accelerating the climate change is a huge challenge huge challenge we can't afford to fail wasting water no good saving water means generating fresh water water supply is limited fresh water is limited so another another glimpse of Himalayas influencing the climate. Often people talk of climate change influencing Himalayas. In fact, Himalayas onset caused the um, onset of monsoons and to a great, great extent, the Himalayas has influenced the climate and the entire region. All the Himalayan ecology sharing nations have shared the monsoon and uh, they have a lot to gain by collaboration, cooperation, in uh, mitigating the climate hazards, in mitigating the disasters, in having common shared disaster pro management programs, exploration programs, and Himalayan conservation programs. Everything to gain, nothing to lose by cooperation, cooperation among the nations of the Himalayas. Time to say enough is enough of the videography in the Himalayan gallery. God bless the Himalayas. God bless the Himalayan ecology sharing nations.